Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how assets work in Google Opal. So if you go into one of your apps, so create a new app, you'll see this little add assets tab at the top. So we're just going to go over how each of these work and maybe some use cases they can be put in. So the first is upload file. And if you click this, you're, you can upload any file. And so let's click the first one. This is one we used that was a resume for a different video. So this can be used kind of as like a knowledge base. So if you were to put after this a generate step, you could drag it to the generate step. And so basically this information would go into there. Then from there, you can have this just be information that this already knows. So when generating this, like if in my upload, I were to have something that was like a sort of set of rules for my generate. So if I was like only do this and only do that, you could have, that could be one use case. So then the generate, already has those rules in it and if they're just like basic rules that you put in every single time that could be one thing so the upload here works as more of a an information base that the generate and everything after it can use this isn't the same as if you were to be using the user input and then if you were to be actually using the app and if you click start you see this little plus here yeah it's not the same because this will be something that the user is doing the other thing is something that the creator gets to choose. So if the user has to upload something, that's different. But if it's something that's gonna be the same for every single user, you can have that as your upload in the uh, workflow over here. Yeah, so if you input something, this is very variable. It can be different each time, but no matter what, this will always be the same. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next asset. So next thing is my drive. And this is actually a really useful one. So since it's Google, it has access to all the different Google applications. It has access to your Google Sheets, your Google Docs, your Google Slides, etc., and has access to everything in your Google Drive. So it's not only your Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, it can be your images that are in there and just everything that's in there. So it really has a wide range of things that it can take in. Again, all the things that are going to be in the workflow, they are all going to be something that the creator wants the user to have. So if you put in information from a Google Sheets or something that has all this information about a certain topic and it's really specific and it needs to be this information, then that could be one use case. If you were to click the same document, so this is the PDF, but just in Google Doc form, it's the same thing as the PDF. So you can do this, it's, you can use it as the same way, but obviously you can not only do your files, you can do anything in your Google Drive. Next asset is your YouTube, which will be a YouTube video and it'll work the same. So it's something the creator wants to always be in there and always have for the information. Um, it's gonna work the same as both the other ones in the same way that it's gonna just be something the creator has that will feed into all of the steps following and it's not gonna change. Um, next asset will be text, which again, it's, it's pretty similar. You might see a common theme that all kind of have similar use cases, but like here, this could be just anything that you type right here or Honestly, this could be the same thing as what we uploaded from our Google Doc or our PDF. It could be the exact same, but this is just a slightly different way to do it. Yeah, it serves a very similar purpose. It's just a matter of how you want to like upload it and you want it to process. So for instance, if you do text, it might be faster to process that than if you do say a PDF where it has to extract all the text and then analyze it. Yeah, and our final one, is it's a little odd drawing so i'm not sure of how this is going to be very useful at the moment what i see now is like you have this little thing over here where you can draw in it so you can have i guess if you wanted to create an image you can kind of draw out what you want it to look like and then have the generate be using the LLM to create an image or I guess a video as well. You could just base it all off of this one drawing slash picture I guess you could do. This one I'm not sure is going to be as useful as some of the others because you could just upload a photo or anything else like that as well. Yeah like the first thing I was thinking of is maybe if you do like a signature you can have it 
like put that at the end of something as like a letter type thing with like your name signed but honestly I think it might just be easier to upload an image of that because it's kind of hard to draw on here anyway because you have to usually do it with a mouse so if you find a use case for this that's great but I feel like in most cases you can just use one of the other ones. All right, and that's gonna be wrapping it up for all of our assets. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and you would love to drop a comment saying how you liked using these or your use cases. And uh, I'd love if you would like and subscribe. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.